What's up, YouTube? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, my name is Shamaya. If you enjoy this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to turn that post notification bell on for today's video. I am going to be trying to get myself out of book slump. I'm in a horrible, 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 horrible book slump. It's ridiculous. I just can't seem to get a book done. I have been reading the same book for I've been reading the same book for two and a half weeks so that's why I know that I'm in a major book slump the pollen out here in these streets are re is ridiculous I'm about to take me some ibuprofen and steal some of my boyfriend because I have a headache it's so much going on but I am going to try my hardest to get out of this book slump. I'm gonna try my hardest. I swear to y'all, I'm gonna try. So this week right here is going to consist of me getting out of a book slump. First things first, I gotta get something to drink. That's the first thing that I need to do. I'm gonna wanna keep making noise with that. First thing I need to do is get me something to drink. I need to take this medicine. And it is kind of ridiculous how bad my head hurts. Um, I have nothing to drink in here, in this house. We're going to be using this cup right here. That's making me have a mega headache. And the kiddos drove me nuts today, y'all. I think it's that. And we're doing testing this week. So it's like, it shouldn't have been a headache type of day. Like, I just don't feel like it should have been that. And it was that. Can't change it. So we're just going to keep it pushing. This feels so weird to be filming, y'all. Like, I haven't filmed in so long. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah. So, I have not decided what book I want to read, but I was reading fantasy. I'm going to take you to my books. I'm going to take you guys to the books. So, I have been reading fantasy. Now, let me explain myself. I have been reading for the last two and a half weeks, forever and ever. The last book that I read... I don't even remember what the last book I read was. Needless to say, this book put me in a book slump. I was out of my book slump, y'all. I swear, I promise y'all I was out of my book slump. This put me back in my book slump. It put me in a mega book slump, actually. I was not pleased with this book. It put me in a mega book slump. I did not like it. I hated it so much. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I don't like to use the word hate, but I hate the fact that this book put me inside a mega book slump. So, I did finish this book this afternoon. This afternoon, I finished. No, this morning, I finished this book. I plan on doing a couple of videos this week, but I think I'm going to go through the SD card tomorrow. I'm going to go through the SD card, see what I can pull from there. See what videos I could pull from there that I did film previously that I can still upload for the remainder of the week, which I need to upload on Thursday and I need to upload on Saturday. So, this video right here will go out one of those days as well, but I think I'm going to go with a very short book. I'm going to go with something that's not too crazy, which I think I might go actually with uh, Maybe Meant to Be. This is the last book that I need to read by K.L. Walter. I just think I just need to get this series out of the way. So this is what I'm thinking. And this is a YA book. And I should be able to finish this starting today. It is currently 7 o'clock. If I continue to read this 
for an hour at least, I think that should put be enough to get me out of a book slump. Or I could read Malibu Rising. This is a summer like book, and I think this is more so my deal right now rather than maybe meant to be because this seems like a fall book but this is an easy read too so i'm thinking this is a quick 300 pager so i think i could get this done really quickly but i'm going to start listening to this on the audiobook and then i'm going to once i get into bed for the night i'm going to actually pick it up and read it um this one is 400 pages the words are kind of small too, so I'm going to hold off on this because this is actually on the TBR as well. So I'm going to start reading this. It's either this, yeah, I'm being indecisive already. That's how I know for sure. Like, it's just something. Dark Romance, I'm going to read Butcher and Backward because I need to get this off my TBR. My boyfriend already read it. We were supposed to buddy read it. I have not read it yet, so I'm going to start with this this is friends to lovers as well i think i wanted to do a freedom mcfadden book though because i'm not sure if i'm really in a romance rut right now i think i need something different so i have i have so many books that i could read but i'm trying to get this tbr like i want to stick to this month tbr so freaking bad i just do it's just something about this month tbr that i want to just stick to it but I have one by one. This is a 250 page, 250 page. I'm gonna read one by one. 250 pages, not nothing romance or anything. And if you don't know, I'm trying to get my Freedom McFadden um, catalog. I'm trying to read all of her books. So we're going to be reading one by one. And I'm going to go ahead and read this. That's what we're gonna read. This is going to get us out of the slump. Fingers crossed. It says, yeah, this should do it. This should do it. All right. Let's put these books back. <sighs> Hopefully this week I could at least get this book done or this book. It's just Monday. I think I should be able to finish this book right here today for real. If I just, because I haven't been going to sleep until like 10 o'clock, 11. And it's only 7 o'clock, so by the morning, I should have this done. And I have like an hour, two hours before I actually start working tomorrow. So I think I should be able to get this book done. I'm going to keep on pushing with getting these books done. This month right here, I want to at least get most of my TBR done. Which my TBR consists of these three books right here and two other Five books left on my TBR, and it is the 22nd. I honestly think I can get it done. I just have to put so much faith in myself. These books are here aren't long, and I feel like I can get these books done within the weekend. Oh, and I have Powerless, so six books. I'm not sure if I'm going back to Lucy's score anytime soon, though. I promise y'all, I don't think I, I, I don't think I can. This is the book that I want to read by Lucy score to start me off with her things we never uh got over y'all lucy score forever and ever put me in such a bad book slump i don't even want to look at lucy score name i love by the thread though that was crazy i love by the thread i don't know what it was about forever and ever i think it was such a slow burn it was ridiculous it was just too much of a slow burn for me i'm not sure but we do have pucking around that i could read as well but pucking around is like 600 pages y'all 600 i don't know about 600 right about now i think i'm going to stick with the, the smaller books this is going to be my books that i want to read for the week and these are the books that you guys are going to see for the week which is maybe meant to be richard and blackbird and we got malibu rising and we got one by one one by one is going to be the one that gets me out of this book slump i promise y'all it has to be this one 250 pages. I know I can do it. I'll see you guys a little bit later. I'm going to put this on in my ears. I think my boyfriend just pulled up. But I, I'm going to get myself together for tomorrow and listen to this book. See you guys later. <laughs>
Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. I don't know what I got going on. First of all, let me stop singing. But I am getting ready for work. I can't find no shoes to put on, so I'm just going to put these. I'm just going to put some comfy on today, and I'm going to put on some looks. I'm cold. The temperature has dropped, y'all. It's insane how bad the temperature dropped. It's ridiculous. So, we're going to put on these Ugg slippers. That's what today's mood is. We're still doing another day of testing. So, yeah. But, I can tell you guys that I finished one by one. I need a five-star read. I need to read something that I know for sure it's going to be a five-star. It's just, I just need it. I need it, I need it, I need it. I need it. I don't know what I need to read, but I need to read a five-star read. I'm going to read Butcher and Blackbird because I did finish that book last night, by the way. Um, I did get some content with it, but most of it I finished late at night. I just, it was real quick though. So it was a quick like 200 pager. When I say it was real quick, it was really, really, really quick. So I was able to get that done last night. So that was definitely a really, really quick read. That was such a quick read for me that I finished that in one day. But I know for sure that I won't be able to finish Butcher and Blackbird in one day. Maybe I could though, because on my break I could read and all of those things. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna head out the house I'm gonna put the audiobook on because I do have the audiobook and then I will see you guys a little bit later I'm gonna take you guys with me today though today you're gonna be with me I need to get some lotion for my face Let's talk about it. So, I am so I am at work. I'm tired. Something's wrong with my eye. This eye hurts so bad right now. I'm looking at it in this thing, and I think it's pink. But I can't really tell. Or like I can't see until I go to an actual mirror. That I like my whole drive over here. It's been like bothering me. It's ridiculous. I don't know what's going on with my eye. Like, and I don't want to rub it because it's like. So I got a what? Map, and I've been dabbing it, but. I'm not sure. But I think what it might have been was I put oil in my hair and then I used that lotion to rub it in my face. And it may have gotten in my eye. But my eye was a little bit burning before that. That's the crazy part. Like when I got up this morning, it was watering. Like my whole, like one eye was like legit watering. <laughs> Needless to say, I have been reading and i have been reading and i have gotten a pretty decent amount through not really but i have gotten to chapter six of butcher and blackbird i am liking it so far i am liking it i kind of see the hype about it i kind of like i'm like a little iffy i kind of see the hype about it i want to see if it's on my kindle so i can actually read it on my kindle oh great i thought i left my gum at home I did put them here. So, yeah. I want to see if it's on Kindle. And let me look. 
I'm not buying it again because I bought the audiobook this morning. But I want to explain why I get the audiobook and the actual physical book. And that is because that is because I am taking this full year to actually speed train speed read train myself so what does that mean hold on y'all let me not do that i think that's very inappropriate for me to be chewing gum trying to talk at the same time what does that mean that actually means that i am actually reading the book and listening to it so that i can go faster i'm training myself to read faster because i feel like i read slow i'm not like a slow slow reader but i can get distracted really fast so i think the audiobook and I think the audiobook and the um I don't know, it's not on Kindle. It's not on Kindle at all. I don't know, I'm not paying eight dollars for it, so this is just gonna be a book that I listen to. Audiobook style because I'm not paying for it. And then I know another book is coming out soon. So Alright, let's see if it's already out. Nope, June 4th, 2024. That's what comes out. But, I always have both copies because I would like to train myself. I am training myself. This is a full year of me training myself to read faster. So, have I read books without audiobooks? Yes. I don't want to make it seem like I just read books with audiobooks. I have read books without audiobooks and i just feel like sometimes i'm just going so slow or i get sidetracked or something happens or like i just didn't get the full story so me reading it and listening to it at the same time is just a different experience um when i do go out and read i feel like people tend to bother me because i'm reading or ask questions or like and it's annoying so like i prefer to put my headphones in noise cancel them out and go into my own little world like i am in the worst book stump of my life right now so i wouldn't say necessarily i have been like going crazy with the books but i actually think freedom mcfadden one by one actually helped me get out of a book slump a little bit because it was something quick fast it was like action pack it was like one thing happened after another after another after another after another so yeah, and I forgot to give you guys a summary of what that book was basically about. It was about a lady and her wife going on, a lady and her wife, a lady and her husband going on a camping trip. Basically, the car breaks down and they have to walk to the cabin. So, like, it has been, like, a lot. And there was, like, a plot twist and everything else that was, like, okay, yeah, this is a Freedom McFadden book. Like, it definitely gave. It gave it's a freedom of fat and I rated that a 3.5. That was just something that got me out of my books on for the time being. Um, I know I told you guys that I have some other books that I would like to read for this month, and I think I might get Butchered and Blackbird done today because I personally have the audiobook, and the audiobook is always faster. So it's only like three hours left in the audiobook, so I definitely can get that done today and probably start another book. But I know for sure I have to go to the gym. I have to go, I have to go, I have to go, I have to go. Um, tomorrow I am off work because I have to go to I have a doctor's appointment at twelve forty five. So I have to go to I have to go to the doctor so I don't go to work tomorrow. So I think I'm thinking that I'm just going to sit in the house and read and get some of these books out of the way. Like I think I should be able to read at least two books tomorrow, especially with me speed uh reading letting on that i could stay up later tonight to read as well um yeah i think that's like the cool part about it i actually want to read powerless so powerless actually might be my next book that i read but y'all maybe meant to be I, I just don't understand why it is 
let me see how much it costs on audiobook so this is what i do because i want to show you guys what i do so i price it everywhere i look on spotify let's see if it's on spotify when it comes to books audiobooks i make sure it's on spotify i look on libby so on my libby right now let's go to libby libby right now i have a bunch of books that i actually need to go ahead and read because they're about to go out and yeah that's just a lot of books that i need to read so i have magnolia parks i have the locked door and i have never lie i personally think i can get those freedom mcfadden books done this weekend my goal is to get never lie and the locked door done this weekend um I have nine days left on Jessa Hastings. So these are additional books that I need to read for my monthly TBR. So I think that's like a main problem for me right now is the Libby books and when they become available. Because, you know, once I, you can set it back dates. I have a couple books that I keep setting back, uh, a couple holds and stuff like that. Like uh, Carvel, Hold, um, Jessa Hastings, Made the Earlier Parks Into the Dark. I have that on hold as well. Um, I could take this Harry Potter off hold because I'm done with that series. Okay. Okay. Um, I actually already read Bride too, so I could take that. I can cancel that hold. Like, some of these holds that I have, I can actually cancel. I haven't went through my holds in a long time, so that's probably why. Cancel hold. I'm done with the Harry Potter series. I'm so sad, though. I, don't, I didn't want that series to end in particular. But I have two books that I have for sure. Actually, I need to see Stephanie, Stephanie, Stephanie Gardner. Um, I need to place a hold on Once Upon a Broken Heart. 16 weeks. So, like, this is what I do. I put a hold, I put a hold on these books. I, um, Legendary, I have to put a hold on that. Because I want to read the Caravel series and get it done and get it over with. Uh, the finale is actually I don't need to borrow it 13 weeks for legendary is kind of wild though 13 weeks is kind of wild so I think that's going to be the next big series that I read I'm probably going to film a video of me getting a whole series done completing the whole series so like I don't know like I just have to get a whole series done it's just insane how I can't. I would say I can't. I can. I just choose not to. But let's see. Libby. I need to see if Legendary is on here. Legendary. And it's not. So Legendary probably be like once I check all of my free options, then I go to the paid option. So Legendary would probably be a book that I actually am going to have to. Uh, buy an audiobook which some people don't know but if you buy it on kindle kindle has an option too and i like to use this option as well i'm just rambling at this point y'all but um maybe meant to be i could buy it for six dollars and i could add the audiobook on for two dollars so like you guys will see that uh, you guys will see that so that's probably what i'm going to end up doing for maybe meant to be because it's only eight bucks with it being eight bucks, I think that, uh, all right now, so now I can listen to it, so I can listen to it basically and do everything else, but yeah, 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 that's pretty much it, so I probably will do maybe meant to be tonight, so like this is cheaper in the sense of maybe meant to be and then i got the audiobook for two dollars and 66 cents that's eight bucks for the book the audiobook and i'm the type of person where i don't mind supporting the authors y'all sometimes you gotta support these authors more than just the book i bought the physical copy which is in store then i bought the audiobook and then i bought the physical book Sometimes you have to support these authors, man. These authors be making chump change off of their books. And some of these books be great. Immaculate. But I'm going to start rambling. I know I'm getting on y'all nerves because I'm getting on my own nerves. But I will see you guys a little bit later.
Y'all, I'm freezing. I had to come sit in my car to turn the heat on because I'm cold. It is ridiculous. Oh, but I could tell you guys, I am on chapter 13. I got an hour and 43 minutes left. I'm probably going to read on my break. I usually like stroll or do something else, but I'm about to read instead. The kids have finished their testing. I got a couple more testing left. Once they finish that, then they have a pretty much chill day. I already did like all my content for today, but we got the Kindle. I don't have Butcher the Blackbird. I am listening to it, so I'm going to continue to listen to it as I am. I'm going to put it in the car and I'm going to listen to it, play the game a little bit. Relax my nerves, y'all. Like, these kids will drive you insane. Sometimes you just have to get away. And today's that day where I have to get away. Even though I'm off tomorrow. It's like the day that you're off, the day do you, like you know that you're off then tomorrow, that's when they get on your nerves the most. That's when you know. Like, they get on your nerves the most when it's that time, type of timing. But I'm about to finish listening to this. Hopefully, I'll be done with this book before I get off of work today so then I could start another book. I did end up finding um, Malibu Rising on Libby. It's $11, 11 hours so I definitely probably will be um, I definitely will be starting this today at least. I want to say I want to get it done but I just know I probably won't get it done today. Probably be getting it done tomorrow but I am going to the doctor, so while I'm in the doctor's office and waiting and stuff, I probably will have it on listening as well. But that's just a mini update. This video right here is probably going to go out Thursday. But I'm feeling myself get out of this book slump, though. I really am. I'm, I'm feeling myself get out of this book slump. And, yeah. I'll probably see you guys a little bit later. This is... Alright, y'all. So... <coughs> First things first, it is Wednesday. I have to go to, I'm about to say I have to go to work. I don't have to go to work. It's currently like seven in the morning. I have to go to the doctor's this morning. So I am going to be finishing Butchered and Blackbird really quickly. Got about 30 minutes left in the audiobook for this. So this book will be done and off of the checklist. And I'm probably going to end the video reading this. No, I might. I might read one more book and then in that video because I have the audiobook for that book as well so I can just hurry up and speed through the other book but that is three books down in less than two or three days so I think I am making my way out of a book slump I normally don't do that but I've been forcing myself so with me forcing myself I'm trying to push myself out of this reading slump forever never just put me in such a bad rut it's crazy y'all I swear it's so crazy how bad that put me in the book slump. I've never been in a book slump like that a day in my life. So, yeah. I'm about to finish this. And then I'll come back to you guys. Finish getting dressed. I have a little bit of time before I have to leave. So, I'm going to just chill. I'm going to just chill for a little while. And then start the other book and all the other things. And then I do have to edit today. I think I have a lot to edit. I have to find the videos on the SD card and edit those videos, get one of those videos up for tomorrow, edit one for Saturday, and start editing for Tuesday, and then so on, so on, so on. Because I do have some videos that I want to share with you guys that I have not uploaded. So, yeah. I'm going to get those done today for sure. I'm going to get at least one more book done and start a new book today. Because I know for sure I am able to do it. I go to the doctor. I'll probably be at the doctor by 9. I probably might go to a cafe. If my boyfriend's still asleep, I might go to a cafe or something and read. And then go from there. But, yeah. This is... When I tell y'all I have been busy all day. I've been busy. I went to the doctor. I have a couple of... Um, things I have to do for the doctor. I had to go get some vitamins, stuff like that. Found out that I got allergies, which is horrible because I've been feeling horrible. My head's been hurting. 
everything else. So why my head is hurting is being explained. Uh, came home. Me and my boyfriend went to breakfast. You know, he's off on Wednesdays and Thursdays. So we went to breakfast. I did start reading like 10 to 15 minutes, but then we got out the car and then came home. No, we had to go to Sam's and get some stuff for the laundry room and those type of things. Then came, went to his mom's house, went to Walmart, got my medicine and everything that I needed from the doctor. And then, well, vitamins I got from the doctor. And then came home, had to go take my car to get an oil change. I'm waiting for them to tell me that my car is ready, but I'm going to read in the meantime. I have been editing a video, and I want to say I apologize because that video is just horrible. I'm just thinking about the scrapping the whole video, but anything is better than nothing is how I'm taking the pursuit on it. So, yeah, at this point, anything is better than nothing of me posting anything at all. But I know for sure that I said I was going to film two videos today, so I need to get those done as well. I also need to go to the mail room, so that's why I said that today has been a busy day. It's going to be a busy day. I'm about to put my headphones on, walk to the mail room, and then I will see what I'm going to do after that. Probably my film or do something along those lines. But yeah, it's been wild. The video is still okay. The import is complete. It says so. I'm about to get this video out. It's not too bad, but it's like. It's not too bad, but it's like, eh, I don't think I want to put it. But, hey, it's whatever. We got everything done. Solid, seated. Video export, and I got to do the thumbnail. And then I'll see you guys once I get back in the house. Ah. Alright, I am done with butchered, butchered and backward. Um, I don't have sat on it for a minute I have written down my feelings for the book in my journal I even printed out a little thing for it and then I have today's do to do list on the side um on this page right here I have all the books that I've read this month and I rated Butchered and Blackberry 3.5 stars. And the reason why I rated it that is because I, I'm not sure if I was necessarily feeling it, but it wasn't like that. Um, I'm trying to get in my dark romance era, honestly, but I don't know if I'm really feeling it. I think I like romance better. Dark romance actually is not bad at all. I just feel like I kind of like romance a little bit better. But I read more romance in the first place. But I went to Walmart today and I got me this journal. Because I want to start writing stuff down. That is my goal. So I'm going to write in this until I don't have any more pages left over. So how this works is on the first page I have my April reads. And... I have read seven books this month so far, which is great, honestly. I've read seven books in April. So, for now on, I'm going to be having a one-pager dedicated to the book and how I feel and my feelings on it. Um, Butcher and Blackbird, um, I wrote, when I was reading this book, I was coming out of a book slump. I wasn't sure how I truly felt about it. I do plan to read it. The next book that comes out in the series, because it's another series, um, I said, I don't think that it is something that can, I do think that it is something that can get better within this book. I just didn't know what it was at the time, so I didn't write it in there. Um, the writing was great for me to keep reading books from this author. And yeah, that's just like my feelings and my one pager. That's just like my thoughts. Um, I want to start, I have a to-do list on this side. So every day I'll have a little to-do list that I write down in this book. I've seen many people have a little pocket journal. And I think this would be great for me and my emotions and everything else. I did do a lot today. Today has been like a busy day. I do want to go ahead and film another video. So that's what I'm about to do in a second. I want to film another video. And then I'm going to start the new book that I want to read. So, yeah. I will see you guys once I finish filming um, for that content there. 
I do want to get some TikToks out. I don't, I'm not a TikToker, but if you would like to follow my TikTok, I will have it like on the screen right here because I do have a couple of books, a couple of books. I have a couple of um, TikToks on there that actually went kind of viral, low key. Not viral, but like I do have like a, a couple thousand views and I'm going to show you guys right now. It's like 8.3 K views. So I do have a pretty decent following. There goes the TikTok right there. Shamaya Reads is what it is. If you like to follow, go ahead and follow me on TikTok. Even though TikTok is like trying to get, they're trying to ban TikTok and some more. So yeah. Um, I have 170 followers. That's actually kind of good. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get up and film. And I'll see you guys a little bit later. Alright y'all, so I just sat here and I filmed. Literally, I did not get up. I just pushed into in that other video and I literally got up. And I can officially mark off that I have filmed that other video. I'm about to put the audiobook on for the next book that I want to read, which I probably would only get in about an hour. I'm going to get my stuff ready for tomorrow, and I'm probably going to close out the vlog for today. I might come back on a little bit later once I'm done, but I'm about to literally get ready for work tomorrow, get my clothes out for work tomorrow, and then... start the new books that I want to read which I'm about to go and read um what am I about to read I forgot honestly I'm not gonna lie to y'all my mind has just been going blank this whole time but honestly I'm just gonna keep it going and we'll see what goes on after that Boyfriend's in there with music, so I'm not even going to attempt to film anything while he is playing his music or whatever case it be. I don't mind it, honestly, because I'm about to go in the shower and put my headphones on anyway. So, yeah, I'll see you guys a little bit later. Alright, y'all. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I am... My watch didn't charge. That's great. I forgot to unplug it. I am running behind. It's 6.05. I'm not really running behind, but I'm running behind. Um, Not really running behind, but I'm here getting ready for work. I did end up checking off everything on my Palm Pilot last night. I did everything I needed to do. Um, When I get to work, I'm going to get on here with you guys and write down a list of things that I need to do before today is over. It is Thursday. One more day. And yeah, I need to I need to do those things. Pop pilot is in my pocket. Get some perfume on real quick. A little something something. I need to take my vitamins. Need to take the vitamins. More sugar. I'm gonna be reading on my candle this morning. I'm not gonna take a physical book with me. I'm going to be reading on the Kindle. Um, this book that I'm reading today is basically a palette cleanser, actually, because I have been reading this book. I have been reading this book, and it definitely is a palette cleanser for me. Um, I need to take some Zyrtex. I don't see him. I'm going to have to call my boyfriend and see where they at. And I sure don't see him. Oh, they were here. He tried to hide him from me. I got him. Got me a Zyrtex. 
Wait, I only need one. Put the other one right there. Put that right there. And I'm about to head out the door. Um, yeah. Gotta head out the door real soon, though. That's the crazy part. I gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. I need to take prenatal. And I need to take... I'm taking ashwagandha. So, yeah. All right, y'all. It is Thursday. I'm off work. I am actually reading this book. Palm Pilot. Palm Pilot says that I have to read this book. Finish this book today. And... I had to read the book. Journal a new read. I want to play video games. That's on my list. Things that I need to do to decompose. Play video games. And then I need to end this video right here. So, I'm going to end this video with the... With the, I got the lottery ticket pencil. Kind of, sort of. This fits perfect. Anyways, sidetrack. Um, I want to fix, 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 fix. So dark, so dark, so dark. I want to finish reading this book. It's actually pretty good so far. It's just like palate cleanser. Some that's on the TBR. It's nothing crazy. Um, I'm about to go hop in the shower. Listen to this audiobook as I go, and probably play some video games a little bit later. But yeah, that's what today's plans is and watch a little YouTube video. The draft comes on tonight, so I want to watch the draft at least the first part of it. So I'm trying to get this book done before the draft is in two hours and like no, it's at eight o'clock, so two hours and 30 minutes. So I had two hours and 30 minutes to get this book done. Which I'm about to be spending the next amount of my time doing that. But I am going to be playing the 3DS for my game today. I would like to play this. So, yeah. That's the game. That's the game I would like to play. But I'll see you guys a little later. Alright, y'all. So, it is Saturday morning. <clears throat> I have to get up and take my medicine. So, I'm up pretty early. And this medicine that I'm on gives me so much energy. So, what's about to happen is I'm about to put my audiobook on in my ear to finish this video out. So, I can edit this video and stuff like that before 12 o'clock when my videos go out. And then, I'm going to... My goal today is to clean the house. Clean my closet out. Um... Basically, get everything in the house cleaned up, basically. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to be listening to audiobooks, the ones that I do have, until... Until then, because your girl need to get her house clean. I, I really do need to get the house clean. Um, it's kind of... It's not even that the house is a wreck, necessarily. It's more so... We need to get in here organized and cleaned up for the most part. Um, I need to throw some things away. So, like, I am about to basically reorganize my whole life. Throw away things. Get rid of some things. So, yeah. That's basically what's about to happen. Um, I will make a checklist of things that I want to do first. To see what all I want to do and then I'll go from there and yeah that's pretty much it I'll see you guys a little bit later all right y'all so I know this video has been going on for centuries it's almost been a week since I started this video but I am on the last where's my phone I have been filming videos for you guys to go up so i'm about to literally basically sit here and edit all of these videos but i am looking at this audiobook and uh, i have 15 minutes left in this audiobook i am reading maybe meant to be by kl walker and i have 15 minutes left i'm about to literally put my headphones on finish these last next 15 minutes and then i'm going to sit down and edit for the rest of the night so i can get next week's videos up loaded ready suited and booted to go out for you guys so that you guys can have some content 
from me this week. And then I'm going to come back. Once I'm done, I'm going to come back and close this video out. And then I'll probably see you guys. I'm pre-recording, so I'll probably see you guys in a week or so. Yeah, y'all going to see this TLC shirt for the next week and a half. Probably two weeks. But we get the content done. We get the videos done. And that's all that matters. I did get me a bookshelf. You guys actually kind of got a sneak peek of what videos is coming next. But... See you guys in a minute. All right. We're done. We're done. We finished. Maybe meant to be. I'm done with that. I'm probably going to rate that a 3.5 star read. It was definitely good. Um, It did have some... I don't be knowing what to say. Like, certain words just don't be appropriate. So, it did have some saying. Um, guy on guy. But not, you know, K.L. Walker is definitely a YA author. She's not a uh, adult romance book. Definitely good, y'all. Like, it's based off of, like, high school. Um, based off of high school and where they, where they grow up at. It's, like, small town... But not really small town. They basically know everybody. Everybody know everybody. It is small town though. Everybody know everybody around there. And you know. Um, twin brothers. What else? Oh no. That was definitely a good book though. I like that one. I want to look up right quick. And see if she have any more other books. I actually like. Um, K.L. Walker. Mm. I clicked on the wrong name. My computer's here because I'm about to start editing, but she do have some other books. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know. I think she has another book coming out. That's what this thing is telling me. Oh, that's a German edition of Summer of Broken Rules. But I'm going to end this video here. I'm about to start editing some of these videos and getting these videos uploaded for you guys. Just remember, we upload every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be there or be square. Turn that post notification bell on and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.